as I went through all of that academic research, the one huge finding that emerged from all of that great research that scientists have done over the years is that goal setting is the single most powerful thing that any of us can do to increase our performance. The science is very, very clear. We are motivated to deliver higher performance when the challenge is greater. Meaning, if Sentinel is my boss and Sentinel says, Mark, jump one foot in the air, I'll give you one dollar. I'll try and jump one foot in the air. If he says, try and jump two feet, I'll give you two dollars. I'm going to try for two feet. Three feet, three dollars, I'm going to try for three feet. I'm going to keep responding to his challenge with more effort up to the point where either the deal isn't fair anymore. So if I if he says, Mark, try four feet, and I say four dollars, and he says, nope, just three dollars, well, then I might not see the fair deal anymore. Or if I'm just too physically exhausted to do the task. But up until that point, the bigger the goal, the more effort we're going to put. There are lots of phrases you've heard around this, shoot for the stars, you'll land on the moon. All those things are really based in science. The bigger goal we have, the more effort we're going to put forward and the larger accomplishments we're going to have. But here's the challenge. And I find this a lot with founders. They have so many things they want to do. They have a list of 100 goals. Here's the challenge. You need to prioritize what matters most. What are the three big promises that you want to make to your company, to your employees or your shareholders? You have 100 things to do. Great. You're going to get those done. But what are the three, the biggest, the most important things that you can achieve? How do you get there? Let's start here. If I asked you, what would it take to deliver in 2021 or next year, twice what you delivered last year? What would it take to deliver next year, twice what you delivered last year? Now, you might say, Mark, that is an absolutely ridiculous question. I am already up to my eyeballs. I cannot possibly do any more work. But humor me. What would it take? What behaviors would you have to change? What work would you have to delegate to others? Um, what would you have to stop doing? What would you have to start doing? It's a question that will focus your mind amazingly quickly. Maybe you only get to 120% of last year. Well, that would be a pretty good year, wouldn't it? So how do you stretch those goals? Because we respond as humans to more, uh, more challenge gives us more effort. But then you can't have 25 big goals. So how can you take a lot of those activities that you say you're so busy at and combine them into a big deliverable. Yes, I know you're doing activity A, B, and C, but what's the outcome that you're trying to produce from that? You're, you're writing that report for what reason? You have that marketing program for what reason? What's the outcome that you're trying to produce? Oftentimes, that can squeeze those 25 goals into three or four big things that you're actually trying to deliver, and then just ruthlessly prioritize. What are the few things that matter most? So setting big goals. Step number one, the single most powerful thing you can do if you do nothing else from uh, what I talk about around the eight steps, do this. It's going to be the biggest performance lift that you can get. <music>